Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Welcome back to Cook and Share. There are a lot of fruits I love and one is tomatoes. Believe it or not, yes it is a fruit, not a vegetable, and they are incredibly good for you. So I decided to put this dish together, some stuffed tomatoes. You're gonna love it, let me walk you through it, and let's get started. So to kick things off, what I've got here are three fairly large ripe tomatoes, and these are firm. I suggest a beef steak, but you can use the tomato of your choice. So what I'm going to do now is cut the tops off, right about here. And I'm just going to take my knife and go around, take that fiber out. Take a spoon, and I'm going to remove the flesh. Now you want to do this fairly carefully. Now I'm just using a normal spoon here, but you can use a grapefruit spoon. It's got that nice corrugated edge. And just set this aside. So what you want is something like this. Yeah, um, you don't want to go too deeply, but you dig right into the side. So just kind of take your time. And you can do this the night before too and just leave them in the fridge if you're in a hurry the next day. I should mention too guys about the remaining flesh. You can either discard this or you can use it to make a really nice homemade spaghetti sauce. Okay, now I'm going to add some oil to a preheated pan over medium heat here. Put in three sausages, which I've taken the casing off. And these are Oktoberfest, but you can use whatever type you like. And we'll just break this up. Now the pork is cooked up, I'm going to add in half a small chopped onion and just fry this up until it's translucent. And I should mention the pork has taken about five or six minutes. Now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of minced garlic, a cup of rice, and this is pre-cooked rice of course. And one of my all-time favorites, as you all know, some ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to stir this up until everything is well combined and the rice is heated through. All right, let's spray up a baking dish with some baking spray, just so our tomatoes don't stick. And simply place the tomatoes in. Oh, these are going to be so good, guys. Grab up some of the mixture and mound up our tomatoes. And I should mention also that if you want to add extra to this mixture, like uh, bell peppers, mushrooms, whatever you like, just go right ahead. Just keeping things basic here. Next up, what I have here are two tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm going to combine that with a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now you can use Italian, I just like the panko. And a good handful of the remaining mozzarella. Take my spoon and stir this up. And we're simply going to spread this over the top of our stuffed tomatoes. Mm -mm. Looks so good. Now we're going to slip this into a 350 degree Fahrenheit, 177 Celsius preheated oven for about 15 or 20 minutes. After about 15 or 20 minutes, it's nicely browned up and done. So I'm going to take some fresh parsley from the garden and garnish it up. And there you have it guys, our simply delicious and easy stuffed tomatoes. Okay, let's give this a taste test. Mmm. This is so good guys. 
I love the filling. There's a real rich flavor there. The tomato, just incredible. I could eat this all day. You've got to try it. For this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And see you next time.